Hey guys, how you doing? It's Art from Arts Model Trains. So I wanted to give a quick update on what's going on with my uh, Pacemaker Hudson MTH Premier from Train World. This was a uh, custom run from earlier this year. And I had, if, uh, if anybody's seen the unboxing video and, and followed me on Instagram or uh, YouTube, uh, sorry, distracting me, it's talking to me over here. Um, the, uh, I've had some problems with two of these locomotives so the first one showed up and i went to get it i'm running on the track and uh started to power it up and it moved forward maybe a quarter of an inch and then stopped and then what was wrong was one of the side rods actually on the other side was all bent up and jammed up all the gears and everything uh jammed up all the side rods and, and bent on the side there so i sent that back to uh train world and they sent me another one dropped that on the track, and it had a dead short. So as soon as I applied power to the track, it shorted the track out. Tried a bunch of different things, uh, spoke to them on the phone for a while, and, and tried to troubleshoot it, and still could not sort it out. So then I sent them that one back, and they sent me another replacement. That one arrived, and I cannot say enough about the people at Train World. They, uh, their customer service was fantastic. Um, and what they told me, they asked me if they wanted me to test this one out. And I said, yes, please take it out of the box, test it out. And they explained it will take a few more days to ship it between their stores and get it tested. And I said, I'm fine. I can wait a little longer. Make sure it works before you send it. Um, they tested it out, sent it to me and I went to, uh, throw it on the track and start it up. And you know what I realized? I run my MTH engines with this simple little remote commander that needs the engine to be factory reset to, uh, engine one. When they tested this out, it got programmed in and therefore it was not set as engine one anymore. Um, so it would not run on my layout. I actually was able to run it conventionally. So I did a few laps of it conventionally. And then I was tracking down somebody with an MTH system to reset it for me. A uh, local hobby shop to me, a uh, train doctor in uh, Tinton Falls, New Jersey. I went to their store with the engine. Their MTH system uh, wasn't working, was on the fritz, so they were not able to reset it for me. But I did find my parents' friends, Wayne and Margaret, who were willing to help me out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I spent about an hour with them today, hanging out, checking out. They have an amazing layout uh, with a great collection, and they were able to help me reset this engine since they have a full DCS system. Um, so now it is up and running, runs great with this simple little commander. And uh, I am very happy to have it back. It is a gorgeous engine. So if you guys have not checked it out, please check out trainworld.com for this Pacemaker Hudson MTH Premier. Uh, I don't have the model number in front of me, but if you go to their website and search Pacemaker and kind of sort through, it's not very far down in their list. Uh, great looking engine, great sounding engine, smokes fantastic. Um, and I you know, recommend you go pick one up. They only had a few left last time I checked it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe and uh, check out some of my other videos. I got some new stuff coming out. I'm going to do a full layout update and as well as an update on the uh, yard scene that we did uh, down the end of the table.